Hello, my name is Clara Holland, and today I will be performing for you Agnes's monologue from She Kills Monsters by Qi Nguyen, and Cordelia's monologue from No Comparison by Joseph Arnon. My memories? You, my memories are shit. Do you want to know what my memories of Tilly are? They're of this little nerdy girl who I never talked to, who I ignored, who I didn't understand because I didn't live in the same world as she did. Her world had evil cello molds and lesbian demon queens and slacker gods, and I had George Michael and leg warmers. I didn't get her, and I assumed that I would, that one day maybe she would grow out of it, and that we could sit around and talk about normal things like clothes and TV and boys, and, and as it turns out, she doesn't even like boys. I didn't know that she didn't like boys until my DM told me so. I didn't know her, Vera, and that breaks my heart. I remember her as a baby. I remember her as this little toddler that I love to pick up and hold. I don't remember her as a teen. And I'll never remember her as an adult. So now all that I have left is this stupid piece of paper and this stupid made-up adventure about killing a stupid made-up dragon. Why do you keep blaming me, Sophia? You know, it's not my fault. I'm pestered by them. I don't even want to go near them. I'm not into guys. You walk around like you're acting like you're all cursed, like, oh, I'm so cursed, life is so bad, mm, poor me, poor miserable me, and I'm sick of it. What is this nonsense? It's getting old, Sophia. You think you have problems? Your problems are nothing compared to what I go through daily. You should try being me for just one day, and I bet your head would spin right off of your shoulders. My family doesn't even know I like girls. You think it's easy carrying around that kind of secret for God knows how long, not knowing if you're insane or not? You're the only one who knows the truth. And I want to tell my family and I want to tell my other friends, I just don't know how. Because I know that they won't accept me in the same way that you have. And I don't want to hurt them. I don't want to break their hearts. So yeah. I have issues. You, your issues are no big deal because one day you'll find a man who you will love and he will love you and he will care for you and keep you warm at night and protect you and treasure you and that's great. That's great that you get that comfort and you will have beautiful children and life will be wonderful. So please stop. Stop complaining about meeting losers because I would rather be in your shoes if I could.